Hey there, Troublemaker Comics here with another comic book review. Uh, this one is Morbius, The Living Vampire vs. Spider-Man. Uh, this is issue number three of this title. Uh, as you can see here, the cover is well drawn. I like it. Even, uh, it just stands out. Um... First off, we start with Spider-Man hunting down um, Morbius. He just dropped a uh, dead corpse right in front of Spider-Man or Peter Parker. And he is going to meet up with uh, Morbius. As they were meeting up with uh, a third person is watching Spider-Man. And, and then, you know, once again, Peter Parker's just complaining about, hey, I could be home watching Letterman. And there's Spider-Man meeting up with Morbius. Morbius says, I want your blood, or some of your blood. And, uh, I like the way it's drawn. Very, I mean... They really nailed it on the head uh, with the drawing of Morbius with his de uh, demonic evil presence but yet trying to do good and this picture really shows the detail of what somebody's facing when they go up against Morbius. So he's no uh, snowflake or powder puff. He can handle his own and throughout the day his friend takes him to uh, the hospital where they run a whole bunch of tests and stuff like that and they talk about how to uh, treat him and to uh, need Spider-Man's blood to find a cure and Spider-Man goes no way I'm not giving you any more of my blood uh, Mad Doctor experiment, and then Spider-Man goes, well, uh, Morbius goes, you would refuse my only chance of release from this existence, but yet, Spider-Man goes, look, I'll try to help you any way I can, but, af but first I'm taking you in before you hurt anybody else. Right there is, and, uh, They start going at it, and Peter stands above him, saying, "You're sick. If you weren't, if you weren't your right mind, you'll know I was doing the right thing." And then Morbius goes, "Hey, you're a hypocrite. You meddle in other people's affairs, not not your own. Yet you refuse a genuine plea for help when it may cost you personally." You define your ethics on monetary whims and basically tells him the truth that Parker was uh, um, he's a hypocrite and the facts, the truth uh, hits him and uh, So, uh, they rewind it back 24 hours. Once again, Peter Parker has to cancel on Mary Jane. Then, fast forward. Then you have the fight once again. He thinks that we're both victims. And then the third party starts watching uh, the fight some more. So, Spider-Man gets a second, uh, changes his mind, and, uh, they go at it, then the third party opens fires, well, 
flies from, comes in, has a nightmare, gets the information he needs from that crooked cop. Does some research and opens fires on uh, Morbius and Spider-Man. And as he's ready to take uh, his final shot, he gets shot upon an unknown party. Same people that were in issue number two with uh, Langford. And then... You see this scientist looking guy with a walkie talkie going is now the property of Dr. Bain. So the next issue, Torture Garden. Um, and then you have your 90s bullpen bulletins and you have advertisements for Spider-Man 2099. Which, if you would like me to do a review on that series, let me know in the comment section below. And then, once again, you have uh, Todd McFarlane drawing of Spider-Man, which I think is pretty cool. And then you have the advertisement for Sega Genesis. Um, Sega Genesis Game Genie. We have come a long way since then. Uh, this is really, really drawn really, really good. I like the uh, drawing of it. I like the colors. Everything pops out. Everything makes sense. There's no... Um, fill in the gaps later. We'll tell you now what's going on type storytelling. I really like it. So, if you don't have this, it would be a... It's a shame if you don't have it. Um, well, you know, some people are not into vampires and Spider-Man and Marvel and stuff like that. But, if you were to pick up this title now, it's pretty cheap. Maybe cover price, maybe in the dollar bin. But, if you have it, I don't think you would really be doing yourself, uh, any harm. Actually, you'd be adding to your collection, uh, value-wise, I think. So, anyways... I like it. If you don't have it, get it. But let me know what in the comment section below what you think of this title, uh, especially this issue. And uh, if you have a comic book uh, uh, channel and you do reviews, uh, leave a link in the comment section below. And uh, I'd like to check it out. So until then, until next time, take it easy, stay out of trouble. Bye.